Hey there and welcome to my channel She Talks Systems. My name is Nicola and I am so happy to have you here today. So in today's video we are going to talk about the benefits of using Dubsado in your consulting business. So if you are currently doing all of the things in the back end of your business then hopefully this video is going to show you exactly how you can organize and automate your client processes so that you can save time on all the busy work. My name is Nicola, I'm the host of She Talk Systems and I'm the founder of Nicola Melinda Consulting. We provide platform implementation and business management services to busy and burnt out CEOs like yourself. We help our clients learn how they can delegate and get back into the driving seat. So like I mentioned before, this video is going to be showing you how you can use Dubsado as a consultant. So the main areas that we're going to cover today, we're going to show you how you can simplify your inquiry and your client onboarding. We're going to show you how you can eliminate the day to day headache of your client management. And if you're struggling on how you can just have an overview of the metrics in your marketing and your money, then I'm also going to show you how Dubsado can do that as well. So if you are ready to dive in, let's dump into the meat of this video. Okay, so we are inside of my test account within Dubsado. And so I'm going to walk you through five key areas that will support you in your business and as you use Dubsado as a consultant. So the first area is how you can manage your inquiries. So I want to take you over to the form section. Now they have an amazing form, which is called the Leads Capture Form. And this is absolutely perfect if you like to capture quick inquiries from your clients or form prospects, they can actually fill out this form. And this is a form that you can share. So as you can see, it's pretty much a standard drag and drop type of form. And there are elements where you can actually customize it. So you can actually drag in images there and you can customize it for your website or for clients who come through to your intake form through social media. And you can ask any type of questions. So you have different types of responses, short answers, free responses, responses, you can have drop down responses, checkbox, lots and lots of options. Now what's great with this form is that there are two questions that are so so unique and make this a really useful intake form for any new prospects that come through. So the first is that you can actually add in a workflow question. So if you're looking to use Dubsado especially for the automations you can add in a workflow question. So they've actually populated this with a question what's so are you interested in? If you tick this box, then you can actually specify the type of service and then you can actually select a specific workflow. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to select two different types of workflows that I have as this is a test account. But let's just say you are a business coach and so you might have a service that is for one-on-one -on -one, um, client support and then perhaps you have a VIP day. So what you can do is also check if that's a required question and then you might then have two specific workflows that you will lead each client through and that really allows you to tailor the responses that are sent through and tailor the experience for that particular service for that client. So the workflow question is one great feature of the leads capture form. The next is a project tracking feature and this allows you to track where your leads are coming from. So this feeds into your marketing area as well and keeping a track of how people are finding you. So you can see here by clicking on the sources, I have got a variety of different ways that people might find me online, find my form. And so I can just add these top sources to my form. I can make this required question and so this will allow me to actually track how people are finding me. So the lead capture form, if I click on the share button, it allows you to embed this into your website. You can also grab a link and share this on your social media, share it in your emails, share it publicly through the DMs with people in Messaging. And the great thing about the lead capture form is you can also apply a default workflow. And so if you just have a very standard inquiry process, perhaps you just like to have people fill out the form and book an appointment, you can apply a workflow in the back end straight away. You can also organize your new leads into different buckets. So for example, I've created project status points that say a new inquiry. And then if you have team members, you can assign them to actually be assigned to this particular lead. 
and you can also update the submit button text you can put in whatever type of wording you wish what will happen is that a new project will be formed every time your lead capture form is created now even better as a consultant if you like to have people book an appointment and fill out a form you can also do that within your scheduler so you have the option to have a discovery call scheduler template in place that has all of your links and relative information in place and then what you can do is actually in the advanced settings you can add in the option to add a form this is a great way again if you like to have your calendar attached to your website you can have an additional form in place and if you click save you can have all of the reminder emails in place and this means that you can actually share this so we've got a share link where again we can embed this onto the website or you can literally share your scheduler link publicly you can share it on your social media in your emails wherever people will find you and that's how you can manage your inquiry process and book your sales calls with ease. So the next thing that I want to show you and how Dubsado can support your consulting business is by actually getting booked. So if we go back over, you'll see that we're back in the form section and we have two key forms that you will definitely want to be aware of. The first is the contracts. The second is your proposal. Now, the difference is between the two is that with your contracts, this is obviously your e-agreement. So if you use external tools, tools such as DocuSign or PandaDoc for your contracts, these will actually be eliminated and there will be another video to show you what tools Dubsado can actually help you to replace. But you can actually manage your contract agreements within Dubsado. So all of the forms here, these are literally templates. So if you ever want to make some changes to your contracts, you can do that so, so easily in this area. So what's the difference with the proposals? The service proposal forms actually allow your clients to choose what package they want to book. So this is an example of a proposal and it has some key elements in place. As you can see, I've been playing around with this in the back end, but essentially what we have are different packages that your clients will be able to select and this will actually build out a quote. So what is also unique about this form is that you can actually in the back end in the settings is you can choose to have a contract in place. So your clients can actually select the package that they want to book on. They can sign their contracts that you choose. You choose which contract you want to have attached. And then if you do allow to have an invoice attached, they can also pay the invoice straight away. So this will make your onboarding process so easy because actually when you select the proposal or you have a contract in place, you can then have a workflow that supports you. And so you can have emails that send out once a contract has been signed or once a form or a payment has been completed. This is automation for onboarding at its finest. So the next thing that I want to share with you is exactly how Dubsado makes life much easier in terms of working with clients, how you can manage appointments and how you can manage payments and the client portal. So if I go across into my projects and we do have a test project in place. So here is a test project and it just shows you exactly how it looks when you are actually managing your live client projects inside of Dubsado. So you will see that you have all of the key information that you need that is relevant to your client. So the project title, the project start and end date will be here. If you have a contract that is signed, this will be in this area, in the contract signed area. Any tags will be attached to your project. The project status will also be in this place and any actual information regarding your client will also be housed here and any project maps fields, project location, referral sources, all of these are project maps fields that will be housed inside of this area. So Dubsado actually brings in all of the key communications. So you can see we've got your inbox, you can send emails, you can also grab your canned emails from this area. So as you can see, all of my email templates are here and I can literally just grab any email that I need and it will populate that for me. Again, you can manage all of your invoice payments inside of the um, invoice payment area and you can also keep a track of any forms that have been completed and sent. Any forms that need to be sent out to the clients will also be shown here and you're also able to add any additional forms in this area as well. 
any client appointments can also be booked in this area. So if you do have kickoff calls, one-on-one -on -one calls with your clients, this is a great way for you to manage all of your client appointments. You can always just click on the box and it will show you exactly what the appointment details are. Now, the best part about this that I absolutely love in Dubsado is having the client portal. So the client portal is an area inside of Dubsado that basically allows you to house all of the client information, all in the details to do with their project in one area. So you can see that I've logged into the portal now. This is inside of my test portal inside of my test account. And you can see here that we can easily view what emails are outstanding, what forms and invoices are needed. My business information is there as well. Um, so the clients can literally come in here and they can access on the main dashboard page their initial forms and folders that need to be accessed. Along the top, we've got our tabs here as well. So we can see the live projects. So if I click on projects tab, any projects that the client has related to us will be housed in this area. Also the project start date and then all appointments so they can view any appointments they have in place. They can cancel and reschedule them. They can see what invoices are outstanding and what ones need to be addressed and any forms that are attached to their actual client project is also housed in this area. You can even add a unique link, which is what I've added here. This is a Google Drive link and so if you use external folders for your clients and you want them to be able to come into the portal and have easy access to their client folders, you can also store the link inside of the client portal. So this is really useful, really beneficial for your consulting business if you just want to keep everything in one place. And what I also love is that all of the correspondence, the emails, they are also housed inside of the client portal area as well. So your clients can always scroll through and see what kind of communications have been sent over to them so that they can have a look at this area. And of course, the profile tab also covers the client details. So they can come in here, they can update their own details, their company contact details, their company details, even their social media and website links as well. And so that's how the portal can work. Once they've done what they need to do, they can just simply log out and move on to the next task inside of their day. And next we have what I like to call the reporting area. This is a reporting area inside of Dubsado. For the lead capture form, we talked about having a question that will track your project sources. So this question will track where your leads are finding you. And this is exactly the area where you can actually add sources. So you can add areas that people will find you, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. And so if you want to add in a new source, you'll just click add a new source and we can just add YouTube in there as a source, pick a colour and it will add it to the list. And so every time you have a new lead that comes through, these numbers will change. And what's even better is that when you come into your project breakdown, this is where you can get really granular and understand how many inquiries you've had for your services. You can track this based on the different dates, whether it's over the last year, 30 days on a weekly basis. And it will also show you the projects by source as well. So it will actually create a little pie chart for you so you'll be able to see exactly how many leads you have from Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. So if you like to be that person who views all of those metrics, this is a great place for you to do that inside of Dubsado. And again, you can also check out your transactions. You can view all of the payments that have been coming in as well through Dubsado. And it would also allow you to look at your reports from a financial perspective overall. So you can see what your income is. If you do track expenses, this is also key and it will show you your net profit. Obviously, I highly recommend speaking with your bookkeeper as well. I personally do use QuickBooks alongside Dubsado and that works really well for my consulting business. Okay, you guys, so that was a quick walkthrough and I hope you enjoyed it and found it of help for you of how you can use Dubsado inside of your consulting business. There are so many features to Dubsado, so many benefits um, that the video would just never end if I tried to show you everything at once. But some power tips before we leave that I do want to leave you with is that when you are getting started with a CRM or a platform like Dubsado, definitely, definitely plan your process first. This is something I recommend to all 
of my clients. Plan your process first and you can do this visually, you can write it out, you can use online workflow tools, but this will definitely support you in ensuring that you know exactly how you plan to use this platform. The second tip that I have to give you is to create the content you need. Create the canned emails, ensure you have your client forms in place and knowing exactly what um, templates, whether it's scheduler templates, what wording you want to communicate to your clients, have all of that first before you implement it. And then it's really a case of implement it within the platform itself, doing the actual setup within Dubsado. And if you do want to give it a go, my affiliate link is below in the description. You can get 20% off um, from using Dubsado. So make sure you check that out. Last but not least, make sure you test and refine, especially if you are using the automations, make sure that you test and refine don't worry um, if the automation doesn't go your way, first of all, or the workflow doesn't act the way you want it to. That's what testing is all about. See what works. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making this video for you and sharing this content with you guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe or you can like this video and comment below and let me know what you found as the biggest takeaway from this video. Until next time, see you guys soon.